can see from uh, the composition of this room. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. of color. We've been talking to a lot of good press. So yeah, yeah. well, well, we want to know what was it like now to bring the Latin and the black together. Yeah. Which oh, you man. see it every day. A lot of flavor, man. man you you yeah. see yeah. it every day yeah. in real life. Flower. We do, yeah. We but do. you guys bring it on the screen. Yeah. And that's really going to attract a lot of fans for both sides. Oh, yeah. Like, what I mean. was that like, that experience? It was great, man. I mean, it was great. It was great. Uh, it, having it, you can't even describe it. Like, we had so much fun. And then, you know, me and him been hanging since, you know, after the that. movie. So it's, it's been fun, man. Can't be friends, Did you guys you know? know about each other ahead of time? When you guys yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I don't know about this guy. Yeah, because I, like, I had Latin girlfriends, and they would watch him. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd be like, he, he was a warm-up. <laughs> he was a warm-up. I was like, yo, are you ready now? And I was like, come on, let's go. It is, it's so funny. he was it's a warm-up. Funny. But it's, when we met, like, the first day on set, it was like, boom. We just was, I think me and him have more um, in common, and we're more, we have a bromance more than, like, Aww, everyone else. Yeah. Like, Sharon oh, has true, Natasha, real. and, you know, Boris has. But me and him have been, like, we've been, like, Tag team and this well, You know, Latinos and, and black are like kind of that's same, it, man. It's like, same crazy shit. Like, you know, yeah. We're like same crazy shit. Like rice. <laughs> you know, like we go yeah. together. I, I was born and raised in Cuba, so in Cuba yeah, it's more I, like. I, like, oh, yeah. I grew up yeah. in Jamaica my whole it's, life. Oh, okay, so, there you know, go. So we're two coconuts and a machete, you know. Let's <laughs> 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 be serious about the movie. Going a little bit serious about the movie. What about the taboo about women wanting to have sex? Like how you guys felt about you know reading the script, reading about this, and that. Oh, it's the other side of the coin. Yeah, it's nah. the woman who wanna have sex with me. You know, like she yeah. see me and she's the one who gonna. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, this is my like yeah, this, I wanna, and I wanna, I wanna take him. You, you know, I wanna take him. Here, I'm gonna take off my panties and, and give to you. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, like that. Just, that's every man's dream, you know. And are I you think, planning to do that one yeah, time? Right? <laughs> it's like yeah, I've been married you know, for you seventeen want that. years. And you want that from your woman. Yeah, you want, I like you that. You want that from your woman. Yeah, you do. And it's um, it's sad that women are scared to be themselves. But I think now in this new generation, they're they're more comfortable with it. And you know, after this movie, Zayn is gonna like really push a lot of women to step out and. And be themselves. I hope that she don't push them to go cheat, but you know, yeah. just yeah, and that is just go out there and do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of but it's really so taboo discussing about you know. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and we don't talk about and it. And women. Well, you talk about that right. amongst your girlfriends, sometimes, but you don't sometimes. talk about that. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. you know. The but that's so. Gr- that's what's so great about this movie that you it's show this woman, you know, who's addicted to satisfying her addiction, you know, mm-hmm. and um and her fantasies, but instead of really looking for that in her house or maybe having a communication with her husband yeah. and talking and letting him know what she needs as a woman, exactly. what she's looking for as a woman, what she's missing. Um, and you know, she just goes out there and find it outside. You know, yeah. I think there should be some kind of communication yeah. um, before you take some decision When like I that. finished yeah. the movie, we went to the bathroom and somebody say, you went to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom. Party break. Oh, I don't want to hear that. No, no, no. Actually, yeah. So I'm like, I asked her, what do you guys think about the movie? She said, it was good, but it was too much. I'm like, don't. Because in reality, the movie is about sex. It's never too much. It's never too much. I'm like, maybe you don't talk about it like that, but we are. Yeah. And that's Kevin Hart. Yeah. And that came out as well. So I mean, when you look at the movie, it's not just about the sex. It's about the sex. It's about the sex. And that came out as well. So I mean, when you're looking at this movie, you're looking at all these issues that mm-hmm. really are kept swept under the rug. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. I didn't know what you was going to do once you went off. I oh, said, yeah. wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I watched, I watched his scenes and I was like. Lo que, lo que representa estas presentaciones en Hollywood y lo que fue tu inclusión de los 10 más poderosos actores latinos. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, he's asking me if, uh, if I could uh, just say something real quick. Oh, no, we're fine. We're cool about with my, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, go go. As a yeah, we cool with that in this suite, uh, as you yeah, can yeah, see. We yeah, cool with yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. Um, eh, me siento muy contento de estar formando la parte de la lista de los 10 latinos más influentes en el mercado americano. Es una gran responsabilidad. Solamente hay un 5% de latinos um, eh, trabajando en el mercado americano. Se me hace un número un poquito bajito comparado con el talento latino mm. que hay, ¿no? Y ojalá que se siga creciendo. Oye, pero se te están cumpliendo los sueños bien rápido en Hollywood, ¿no? Yes, sí, claro, claro. Gracias a Dios y gracias al público que me está apoyando mucho. I was saying that I, uh, I, I came in, uh, uh, in a top 10 um, most influent Latinos in Hollywood. So, yeah, it's a variety. Oh, yeah. I, I saw that, that, yeah. that, you know, and, you know, and, yeah, um, we all proud of that. You know, it's a very big responsibility. Besides being a... Uh, now, now ¿Qué te llevas tú de esta película? Eh, obviamente cada proyecto es importante, cada proyecto tiene ¿no? su relevancia. ¿Qué es lo que tú te llevas de esta película en particular, siendo que es un tema tabú? 
qué es un tema? Me llevo un mensaje muy lindo. Yo creo que hay que, que saber y cómo comunicarse más con la pareja. Yo creo que tiene que haber un tema de comunicación más grande acerca de todos los temas que puedan haber y, y, y de las necesidades que una persona, mujer o hombre, puedan tener entre sí mismos. ¿no? Now you know when Schwarzenegger and him did that movie about the monster in the jungle, whatever. Oh yeah, Predator. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he said everybody got in the morning. Everybody would get up and they were all doing, you know, push ups. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they yeah. show up on set. Now did that happen with all you buff guys on the yeah, set? Yeah, like, you just, know, six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, no, he was sleeping. I was doing my sit ups this morning. You got to show you got this guy in the movie. You don't want to look back. I'm like, hell, holy shit, that's that's it. It. 10 minutes. That's it, you know? You so got Tyson morning, and Boris in the movie, you know? Every day before all my scenes, I would work out. Right. Uh, well, that's 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 sex, those sex scenes, you know, okay. they were very provocative. They were like a little bit more soft porn. Yeah. How you guys felt working in this? Kind of oh, it's like an erotic, things. you know, it's an erotic, mm -hmm. uh, steamy movie, you know, yeah. you need that kind of stuff, you know, yeah. and um, but what makes it erotic is not only showing skin, you know, it's what they talk about, how they do yeah. it, you know, how they become, you know, and how we, as men in the movie, gotta be different from each other, yeah. because at the end, she was looking for different things in one of them, yeah. mm -hmm. you and know, she we, couldn't find everything in one, that's so... True. It's kind of a problem when you try to find all those, you know, all those good things. In one you gotta one. have that. That's yeah. why you gotta have that kind of communication with your husband. Yeah. And tell you, baby, if you're not doing this, you gotta do it. And I think if because not, we had such a great director who um, didn't want to make it cheesy. He didn't want to make it too, too much um, soft porn or too, too erotic. He just kept us all in, you know, our own space and said, "Hey, work or less of this, more of that." You know, so he was really good. And you know, we had what, it was very private, we had what, maybe three people in the room while we were filming, instead of a whole 50 person camera crew in there, but you know, it was very, it was very easy to do, you know? Very easy. I love that. Whoa, I'm going to kiss Sharon. I'm going to work to go kiss Sharon. That was easy. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys.